Each year, the Mingo Bay Classic welcomes upwards of 120 teams during its two-week period. Yet figuring when and where everyone is playing takes a focused plan. I'm just on the way out of town, could you play another game? And that's where Mike Morris sits at the helm of the organized chaos. With uh, hundreds of emails, you're dealing with text messages, um, you're dealing with uh, coaches that have situations that come up. You just make these mental notes and write it down and try to accommodate as many people as you can and you move on. But it's not that simple. You know, we've got about 15 states involved in our Mingo Bay Classic this year, and every state association has different rules. Rules that he checks up on. Some associations will not let you play more than four games in a tournament. The state of New York cannot play private schools. The state of South Carolina can play private schools. And every move is marked. You know, every time a team wins, we, we mark them down. They won. How many runs they given up? How many runs they scored? The red teams leave after four days. The black teams are playing for championships. He even tends to the fields in between games. But with an event so big, even the sponsors pitch in to help. This is probably the best time of my year is when we get involved in these high school baseball youngsters come into town to play baseball. While players spend their spring break on the field, Morris and others spend theirs organizing. Thank you. All right, bye. Though they can't think of many other places to spend these two weeks. If I can't be in spring training watching uh, pro baseball, I'd rather be here at Mingo Bay. It's next best thing to spring training. It's something that kind of vitalizes or revitalizes my uh, physical and human spirit. In Sacristy, Joe Morano, WMBF News.